Good morning. Myself, Dr. Vivek Shashindran, consultant, ENT head and neck surgeon. Today, I would be talking about thyroid related disorders. Thyroid related issues are pretty common in our society and two commonly seen con medical conditions are hypothyroidism which otherwise refers to inadequate levels of circulating thyroid hormones in the blood or hyperthyroidism where in you get to see very high levels of thyroxine, circulating thyroxine. The second scenario is hyperthyroidism. So as the term suggests, hyper. So basically you have very high levels of circulating thyroid hormones in the blood. Now what are the clinical symptoms or what complaints do these patients generally complain of? So these patients, depending on hypo and hyper, the symptoms are different. In hypothyroidism, generally these patients will be tired, they complain of excessive tiredness, lethargy, patients can be anxious, the patients can be dull, they complain of increased weight gain although they have reduced appetite whereas in hyperthyroidism the patients will complain of weight loss in spite of increased appetite. The patients can also have menstrual irregularities which could be in the form of increased blood flow or irregular periods. Now, apart from these, the patients can also have eye symptoms. So some of these patients do develop a staring look and they can also have skin changes. And thyroid issues can be a contributing factor to infertility as well. So how do you come to a diagnosis of hypothyroidism or hypothyroidism? The diagnosis is usually with the help of blood tests. And what are the common blood tests that we generally ask a patient to do when we suspect a thyroid issue is usually the thyroid function test. So usually we can assess the T3 levels, the T4 levels and the TSH levels. Now with these tests we can interpret and come to a diagnosis as to if it is hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism. Once a diagnosis is made, in case of hypothyroidism where the levels of circulating hormone is less compared to normal, we do have to take thyroxine supplementation. Whereas in case of hyperthyroidism, we will have to take medications which kind of bring down the excess levels of thyroxine in blood, in circulation. And patients who are on these medications should have a periodic follow-up in the sense they got to monitor the blood levels periodically to ensure that the dose that they're taking is adequate and based on these blood investigations we kind of adjust the requirement of medications thank you